Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are here with Test Day and another Brick in the Mall. I have not played this game in such a long time, but I saw it recently. So I was like, I remember that. Let me give it a try. Uh, so we are going to do that today. If this is a game you would like to see more of, like the video, comment, or let me know that you want to see more and we'll see if we can work it in. Well, let's go ahead and get started. All right, it has been a long time, so we're gonna start with the tutorial. We'll just do normal. I have no mods or anything for this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Hello and welcome. You have somehow inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in this area. Commercial is your only option. Let's have a look around. Use WASD or arrow keys to pan the camera. Alternatively, hold the mouse wheel uh, and zoom in and out. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can also use T and G. Okay. This short tutorial will walk you through opening your first business. Let's get started. Ooh. Okay. We need to build the foundations first. Go into build mode and select foundations. Order your workers to build foundations by clicking and dragging over the designated area. Okay, foundations. Now we need to wait for the foundations to be finished before we can build further. You can speed up time with the fast forward button. Okay. Let's get that going. That is not very fast, but I guess we'll wait for this to be done. Almost there. We will need doors to access the building. Go into build mode and select objects, place staff door and double door. Build mode. Okay, double door and staff door right there. We should separate our future storage and store with a wall. Okay. Let's put a staff door on the wall. Okay, so go to objects, staff door. Okay, now we will assign a function to the rooms. Go to assign, select storage and click and drag over the area. Okay, same with store right here. A store needs shelves to display products. Go into build mode and select objects. Place shelves and food shelves in the designated spot. Okay. Here is shelf and food shelf. We'll check out counters, okay. Check out counter, right here and here, okay. You will need to set products to your shelves. Go into select and right click on your shelves. Set product for select, set product for shelf. Select a subcategory then select a product. Try not to sell the same product twice now. Do this for all your shelves. Okay. So let's do... What do we have? School supplies, grading cards. Let's do toilet paper. Do light bulbs. And then we'll add some kid stuff. So we'll do action figures. Appeal to other people. So then we need to do this for the food. Can we do beverages? Let's do soda. Let's do pet food. Let's do tea and coffee. I guess I should have done that next to the soda. Let's do canned food. Sliced bread. And then rice and pasta. Okay. Perfect. We need to have a loading zone for deliveries. Go into build and select road work. 
Select loading zone from the list. And put that there. Okay. We need to link our storage with our store. Go into manage. Select your store from the list. And then link storage. Pick a storage. Okay. Last thing before we can open. In manage mode, select your store in the list. Click on staff tab. Hire a cashier. Okay. Well, we probably want them to have some sociability. This one's speed and patience are good, but not sociability. So maybe we do hurt this one. And then we hire a stock clerk. Uh, maybe you for speed. Okay. And then we got monies. Okay. Good job, your store is now complete and we'll open at 9. Let's anticipate customers will litter if we don't have a trash can nearby. Go into build, objects, trash can. Okay. We will also need a garbage pickup area. Go to build, road work, garbage pickup. Okay. Lastly, we need to hire a janitor to keep the floors clean. Uh, in manage mode, select your maintenance center right here. Click on staff. Okay, we're on staff and hire janitor. Speed is probably the most important here, so we will do you. Okay, good. That's taken care of. At the moment, we can only sell a small section of products. Selection of products. I don't know. I'm not sure what that black box right there in the corner is when I hover over this. We need to build an office to research new products, businesses, and technologies. Go to Foundation. Okay. Order your workers to build Foundation in the designated area. Okay. Nice. Now let's wait for the Foundation to be finished. Let's fast forward. All right, now we need a staff door and office desks. So, staff door. Office desk, please. Okay. Now we need to assign it as an office. Right here. Okay, we got an office. Now we need to manage our office and get office workers. They want me to hire two. Uh, I'm going to do you. You don't need to be sociable. I think that's fine. And our other office worker, you know, it can be you too. You just, speed is good. All things seem to be in order. Here's some tips for a smooth expansion. Keep your builders busy. Your parking lot will fill up quickly. Build more customer parking to accommodate more visitors. The default store opening hours are unambitious. Manage your store to open earlier or, and close later. You will need to hire cashiers to work those hours. Offering a great diversity of products will attract a lot more customers. Research product projects to unlock highly sought products such as fresh food, clothes, or alcohol. Open specialty stores to satisfy demand for rare and expensive products. Okay. Finally, have non-retail businesses will make your customers stay on site and spend a whole lot more. Research and build restaurants, bowling alleys, and movie theaters to be the number one destination for nearby shoppers. Thank you for following this tutorial. You're on your own now. Tooltips and notifications are your friends. Let's fill this wild land with concrete and capitalism. Okay. So it's the middle of the night, so we do have to finish uh, this stuff. What's this? Oh, this is my tech tree. So I want, I guess we would want to be able to open all the time. So let's start with night hours. I'm wondering if it would be a good idea to have the office workers all the, work all the time. I mean, probably not really. Okay, I'm gonna do roadways. Let's do 
staff only parking right here that way we have a couple things then we're gonna do some more customer parking here so that'll give us a little bit more parking and I want to expand my road this way so let's fast forward a little bit Ooh, underground parking but we have to get those I do want to do a bus stop because doing a bus stop like right here would be good although I do plan to kind of move my stuff over into this area more I'll probably actually do some more roads And then we just need to see when this opens. No one is actually researching right now. I wonder, let me manage my office staff. They start at nine and end at 17. So I'm wondering if I should get someone to start at 17 and work their eight hours that way. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it like that. So I have, a worker at all times so at least something is happening at all times she needs to get busy but we do have people shopping with us so that's good we could expand but I think I'm not going to because I think what I want to start looking at is potentially building over here and making this kind of a huge huge parking lot and actually building a mall because we don't have that so let's go ahead and get our very large building here. And we'll go ahead and start them in on that. And I should have an office worker here. It at least has people working all the time if this office worker is overnight. And we'll let them do their business. I guess I would want double doors right here into this building. We're going to do roadway here, roadway here, and I'll, I'll do a roadway around the side because we'll do some staff parking, loading zones, everything like that over that way. So let's do... Well, I guess it has to be built before we can do that. So we will wait on that. Let's check on that. Only eight so far. And these are our employee parking. I don't know why they didn't park in employee parking, but it's fine, whatever. We'll let that build. We'll start getting this stuff going. We probably don't want to overbuild, I guess. Nine. Okay, so we've got a while. I might hire another office worker. Or I guess I could hire another cashier. We might want to hire another cashier. Hire a cashier we want. Hmm. Like, their skill is not great in cashier, but nobody's is. So we'll go ahead and hire you as a cashier. And we'll come to work. Okay, so she'll be there tomorrow. And our office stuff is getting done. So hopefully they should be done with that today. Like, he's getting there. And she's going home. And he should continue working like that. How are we doing over here? Not quite fully done. But it's fine. We'll get... We'll maybe do, like, a thin area. I don't know if you have to do bathrooms in this game. I don't know. Do they have anything about bathrooms? Bowling. Tobacco license. Oh, bus transport we probably want to do. But I guess we also want these for more products. Self-checkout would be good.
newbie we do bus sales monitoring we could do these but I, I think it would be better to work on frozen food supplier get that done okay they'll work on that we're getting this almost done I wonder if it would have been better if we had done more like had them working at the same time but I don't see how that would necessarily have made them go faster and that way at least people are doing things the whole time okay I'm gonna build a wall here and then here and then we'll put a staff door there staff door here and a staff door right there because this is going to be our maintenance thing so that is going to be storage for this room and so, a s oh, okay. Objective complete, make 100 total sales. All right. Well, we'll wait a second. I'm going to have this be a store. We're not going to do anything with it just yet. Uh, cancel. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to just do you and then add you in. No, I don't want that. Can I link them? Oh, I don't like that. Stop. There, okay. Store five. Okay, so one big store. That's small storage for one big store, but we'll see what we can do with that. We can add on if we want to. And this is going to... Let's build roadways. I want a loading zone right here. Then, not customer parking. Staff only parking. Right there. Okay, so, are we done? Almost. Oh yes, okay, research menu. So I think my best bet is going to be doing cold chain. So I can unlock all those products. So let's go ahead and start with that. And I'm really, oh, we are like completely out of money though. But we can now stay open later. So let's manage our store. And we want opening hours to be five. And we want to be open here. So I need more staff. I need a... a I guess another cashier and a stock clerk. Okay, we'll hire you. Uh, let's get our cashiers scheduled. You need to 21, I think. And then you can work there in the middle. So we have someone in the morning Someone who comes in uh, right here, and she's going to work there. Okay. And then we have a stock clerk, and I don't... I guess we'll have to see whether we need another stock clerk, but we're open far longer than we were and we should have some overlap and we need self-checkout but we'll go ahead and do it like this of oh, 32 percent not bad so I'll I'll start building this out once we get our next amount of stuff because I, I want to make this like our big grocery store 
and we'll change this to something like a restaurant or like an activity sort of thing. Uh, but we need money. We're, we're running out of money, so I'm going to move this up here and move this down here. And this is where we'll start building our parking lots. Don't complain. It's going to connect. Calm down. Oh, janitor. Janitor, janitor. Where? Oh, I guess we'll have to have an overnight janitor now. Are you the janitor? I think that person's the janitor. They're all on their phones. Okay. So where are we on this? 48%? Okay, hopefully that's done today then. I'm going to start looking at how we'll do trash cans here by the doors. Can I rotate these? Right there. And then we'll start doing... I'll put it in here because there are frozen food things that we can do. Get in some more food shelves. And then, oh, there's fridge. Soda and bottled water, okay. Then we'll go ahead and add some non food shelves right here. And then we'll go ahead and add some fridges along the back wall. Clothing racks. We have not unlocked clothings, but we can do a few tables right here. Pallets have big things. We don't need those just yet. Order counter. Oh, that's for stuff. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do a few cashiers things. We'll do self-checkout over on this thing. I do not have that yet, but we will get that soon. Bar counter access. Anti-theft. We do not have that. Okay. Where are we? Almost done. Okay, good. So we'll add stuff to that later. We just spent a good chunk of money, so we need to wait till we get a little bit more. I guess I could add stuff in, but I don't have anyone working there, so. Uh, at this point, nobody's going to be there anyway. And I'm almost done with this. Okay, good. So that should give us all that fresh stuff, alcohol license, sales. I want the self-checkout, so we'll go ahead and do that. I don't actually, was that much more? No, it was not much more. So it should be another two days or so before we get this. Uh, but we do now have the frozen and the fresh stuff. So let's look in the fridge. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's get Let's get out of that. Select products. Let's do... Okay, soda. We'll do... Milk. Dairy. Fresh meat. Fresh fish. So I have one more. So we'll do... Bottled water. I guess if I did one more... I could get all those things in there. And then I could just do everything. And then get juices. So everything is there. Then for food, candies, snacks, 
cookies. And then I guess we'll do pet food there. Then we'll do canned food. Breakfast cereal. Um, sliced bread. Rice and pasta. I Ooh, objective complete. Make 500 sales. Okay, good. We got some more money. Then, um, sauces and seasoning. Coffee and tea. And then I just have those that are empty. I'm sure we'll get new food. Set the table for fresh fruits. Fresh vegetables. Uh, We'll do another fresh fruit because I have four tables. Fresh bread. I don't know what I want to add in this particular thing. Oh, I don't think I marked that as storage, did I? Okay, assign. No, it is storage. But what I have to do is link. Manage. Store. Link storage right here. And then... I do need to put some things in those buildings. Okay, products, uh, diapers, toilet paper. So I need more of these than I actually need. Um, bed sheets, cookware. I'll have to do, yeah, I'll have to do more. Car tools, toys and games. Reading cards, and let's just do sports balls. Okay. And then I will need to hire some people. Some of it, though, is I do not have parking here. So we probably want to build parking. Okay, we are going to buy, do parking, not road, parking, customer parking, then road, then more cust, oh, well, we can't till we get this road built, so, get out of that, okay. Oh, I guess we also need a garbage thing. Let's build our garbage pickup. Just... Do I just not have the money? I guess we could do garbage pickup right there. Okay. Because I want them to do... If they do weird things with the, the parking sometimes. So I'm going to do customer parking right here. And we'll do customer parking right there for now. So that'll get this one set up. And then I just need to hire people for this store. So this is our store. I guess we'll work on that in the next episode if we continue on this game. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess this is where we're going to go ahead and end. If you would like to see more of Another Brick in the Mall, like the video, comment on it, let me know that you want to see more, and we will see if we can add it in. Uh, but that is everything for this time, and I will see you guys later. Bye!